you're now ready to install your power panel and gateway node. Note, on the bottom of all gateway nodes, there are two tab stickers that contain the MAC address and PIN number for each of these units. You'll need to remove these stickers from the units and attach them to the site log contained on the last page in the user guide and install manual. This is used as the primary reference to identify which gateway is installed on which site. When selecting the location for the power panel and gateway node installation, remember to pick a location that has the best possible line of sight to the bins with installed nodes and has access to a 120 volt power outlet. Remember that the gateway node should be mounted lower than the cable nodes it'll be communicating with. It's also important that the power panel be easily accessible for routine maintenance. Opie suggests mounting the power panel at eye level. Last, ensure the location for mounting the gateway node is within 24 feet or 7 meters of the power panel. After selecting your location for the gateway node and power panel, you'll mount the power panel first. There are four mounting brackets on the back of the power panel that require readjusting before mounting. Using a cordless drill with a 3 8 inch nut cert, attach the power panel with the four 3 8 inch self-tapping screws to a flat surface. Ensure the power panel is mounted as level as possible. Use a level if needed to the flat surface. Once mounted, remove the red seal and tag. You're now ready to install the gateway node. The first step is to loosely attach the foot mount to the base of the gateway node using the 7 16 inch bolt and washer with a 7 16 inch wrench. Once you've got the node and foot mount ready, using a cordless drill with a 3 8 inch nut cert, secure the gateway node in place with the three 3 8 inch self-tapping screws supplied. Note that you may need to adjust the position of the gateway node on the foot in order to attach all three screws. Once the screws are in place, using the 7 16 inch wrench, tighten the gateway node on the foot mount so it stands in a vertical position. After you've installed the gateway node, create a drip loop with the ethernet cable coming out of the base of the node. Secure the cable using a tie wrap through the opening of the neck of the foot mount. The drip loop ensures water running along the ethernet cable will not run into the gateway node. Run the Ethernet cable from the gateway node into the power panel box through the strain relief opening on the bottom of the box. Open the power panel box and plug the Ethernet cable into the PoE1 connection port on the power supply. Tighten the strain relief clockwise to keep water out of the power panel box. Secure the Ethernet cable in place with another drip loop using the P clips that are supplied. Use remaining P-clips to secure the Ethernet cable to the surface between the gateway node and power panel box at 4 foot or 1 and a quarter meter intervals. Inside the power panel box, connect the red power cable from the power supply to the battery backup terminal located on the front left-hand side of the battery. Next. Connect the power cable from the power panel to the 120 volt power outlet. OPI recommends that the power panel be hardwired. To do so, please consult a certified electrician and use an extension cord until such time, if needed. Turn both the AC and DC switches to the on position and wait 60 seconds for the gateway node to run through its startup sequence. Note, depending on lighting, you may or may not see flashing blue lights from the gateway node. These flashing lights are normal and indicate the system's connected.